Yo, what's going on? Sexy Sam Lander Squad here again with more PTS content. I know there's a lot of it. I'll get back to the normal rank dual scene soon. But there's just so much I want to go over. There's so much I want to try just in the PTS. You know, like when things are new, it's hard to get away from it. I got to be honest. <laughs> Let's get to work. When we are playing Ymir today, why are we playing Ymir? Well, I think this build is going to be really nasty um it's going to <laughs> it's going to enable almost the same kinds of builds as animosity was because we are going vamp shroud and i'm gonna go first out of mystical mail because i'm fighting a loki i'm just gonna ride out the gate have a thousand hp now, Vamp Shroud got Omega buffed. Just super not fair. Like, it, it's too strong. So basically, they buffed it to where instead of giving 10 physical protection and 75 health, you have 15 physical protection and 100 health. And when it's buffed, or when, it, when you upgrade it, that's the crazy thing. Damaging enemy ability restores 2% of your health and mana. You get 2% not it's not 2% lifesteal really but it's like a magical death toll every ability you use oh wait wait he told me about this he told me there's a Loki skin you can use and um the voice line for it the what are the voice lines for it last literally the entire uh the entire duration of his one <laughs> it's pretty bad it's pretty bad all right let me see it let me see it i'm gonna be quiet when he stealths so you guys can hear it You can actually hear it the whole time. <laughs> Wait, why did they do that? They know that fucks up Loki players, right? Like they know that's not good. That's amazing. Anyways. The whole point of this video was not to show Loki. It's to show Blood Soak Shroud. So basically... They buffed it. Now when you upgrade the Blood Soak Shroud, you get 55 protection, 15% magical life steal, 200 health, and 75 power. It literally every single thing you want. Every single thing you want as a mage against a physical god. And then on top of that, you can build this really bruiser tanky build. And um with it just be not only tankier but like i couldn't see not only tankier but just overall doing more i guess this is the best way i could describe it you're gonna die to minions <laughs> you can just hear it the whole time, bro. At the sight of terror. As if you can. Better call me straight off. Yeah, I knew he went that way, but didn't have the manner. Manner enough. All right, getting a bit sneaky. <laughs> All right, let's go mystical mail. Mystical mail also got changed by the way. Uh, so I'll run you through that real quick. Mystical mail used to like the stats of it. I don't think changed, but it used to do 40 damage. Like the, the little pulsing thing used to do 40 damage. Instead, 
they changed it to doing 30 damage but you get plus one per level so instead of doing 40 damage right now it's it doing 37 obviously it doesn't take into account um you know prots but All right, cool. Dude, I'm very tanky. Very, very tanky. Um, and we're just gonna build a lot of health because I want to show off. Um, what's a good health item? Against fighting a Loki. Yes, it. No, that's magical defense, isn't it? No, that's physical. That's physical defense. Yeah, we'll get this. We'll go tyrannical. We'll go warlock staff. That gives you 225 health. It actually isn't that much. I don't know. Not a lot of healthy items here. It's okay. We'll figure something out. The whole point of this build is to show off blood soaked trout. Oh, I want a Bancroft as well, because Bancroft is going to pair... Did he just run past me after doing red? That son of a bitch. Um, Bancroft is going to pair really well with the 15% uh, life steal you get from Blood Soak Shroud. <laughs> he tried to juke me. Oh no. That's gonna simple her blades. All the STDs, man. All the STDs. He's going defense though. I'd assume he's going Boomba's hammer here. And I do think that Boomba's hammer is going to be the meta starter item for duel. Although, I will say, it seems like with, um, what was that item called? It seems like with Animosity taken out of Duel, a lot of starter items are starting to shine. Like, Vamp Shroud is just very good in general against any kind of physical god. Um, obviously, that's what I'm showcasing today. So, Vamp Shroud or Blood Soak Shroud is just very strong in general and then i think mannequins is actually like don't overlook it that's gonna be a big ticket item i got no mana dude Oh, looks good, baby. Better run away. I don't know who you think you are, but you are not going to face tank a Ymiral. Probably. He might ult me now. If he ults me now, you know, fair game. No, he didn't ult me now. Okay. Uh, we'll go Tyrannical. Um, I'll go Warlock Staff. I'm going to go into Sunder just so I can punch him in the head twice with Sunder. What other kind of health and physical items are there? I kind of want something that will like help me do damage. Does Emperor's Armor give you HP or does that give you mana? Um... HP, perfect. Oh, hi. Oh, I didn't range. I didn't now range him. I hit him with the double sunder. I hit him with the double sunder. And then Tyrannical Plate Helm, dude? Let's get him, dude. Tyrannical Plate Helm plus Emperor's Armor. Wait a second. That's a video idea. Zero structure damage.
All right, let's go get a... Uh... Well, I don't know, because I want Emperor's Armor, but I also think that, like, maybe... Warlock Staff will just be better. I can't catch him. Damn it. All right, Tyrannical. Do your thing. Eat they asses. Um, how... Is Vamp Shroud level 20? It is. Okay. I just hit my toe again. That I hit earlier. Ah, oh, fuck. It hurts a lot. Um... Do I want a red buff or speed buff? We're not really focusing on my damage here. I'm actually not going to get red buff. Because I don't think I care. About damage or... Just like anything really like I, I i think i just care about being super tanky and running at him obviously i want to down the red buff so he can't get it but oh we altered all right. Well, he got the red buff, but I have tyrannical plate helm and he has to back. So I think I actually do get the Phoenix here. My minions are going to frag. I'm not fragging, but my minions are fragging. Mm. Phoenix hits me for like nothing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Damn. Damn, he lived. I was close, though. Almost made it. Almost made it. Maybe we get Phoenix here? This time for real? Don't sunder me. Okay. See, my favorite thing is that, like, I don't have to care about him. I just go on my way, right? Like, if you want to fight me, sure, but you're going to die. You're going to die to minions and to mystical mail. I don't need to do anything. Okay, maybe I do. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's back. Um I'll get the warlock staff. We'll start the Emperors. And then after Emperors. I want one more health item. Maybe I'll just go Gaia. Because Emperors is gonna give me 250. This gives me 200 already. Hmm. Hmm. I want to get 4k HP. That's the goal. Because that's going to give me 80 HP back per ability. Oh, boys. Getting a bit sneaky. <laughs> I actually hit this under there. <laughs> the funniest part is that I hit this under there. Okay. I don't actually want to win yet. I want to try the build. I'm in farm mode right now. Also, uh, I don't know if you've been noticing, but my mystical mail is going to be doing more and more damage from now on. Over 40. Because we're getting later into the game. So the scaling aspect, which I don't know if you guys have noticed, but that's kind of the theme of the whole patch is they really want things to scale up with you later in the game. Like mannequins and mystical mail. And there's another item that does it too now. And um, they increase scaling of a lot of abilities and stuff. So 
that's really what they're going for is just a whole scaling kind of game as well as um in conquest they made the draugr or dragger or whatever and he scales as well like based on per enemy is or per teammate is in the vicinity so scaling is the whole kind of theme of the patch and i mean if you want to you could also say blood soaked trout is scaling because oh, just, it's percentage based of health and mana rather than a a flat pace just like they did the mannequins so i think it's really cool i think it's super cool I'm just going around farming right now. Um, looks like he's going into the leader. All right, we hit level 20, which means perfectness. Go buy a blood soaked shroud, and I can buy my emperor's armor, and I can start my Gaia even 3.6k HP. That's pretty big. So, per ability, does it tell me? No, it doesn't. But 15% lifesteal is really good, and then per ability, let's see how much I get back. Well, I guess I'm going to need to take some damage first. You get health and mana back. Oh my god. This works on a minion wave. This will proc six times on a minion wave. Okay. I think this is going to give me a lot of health back. Because when I used my two on that wave, I don't know if you guys noticed. It says it only triggers once per... Oh, per target, per ability. So this is going to give me 12% of my health back if I hit a wave. Are you trolling? I have 2k HP. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll just press two and heal for 700. I'm a fucking healer now. Look, 2.9k, 2.9k, boom, full health. What the? Dude. I don't want my minions to kill him. Bro, what? I have I have fifteen percent life steal. I have three hundred power, fifteen percent life steal. It's I'm, I should not be healing that much. A blood soaked shroud, dude. Her target. Her ability. I hit a wave of six units. I get 12% of my health and mana back. And then you add on the life steal, which is probably another... I mean, probably another about 10% of my health. This item gives you so much healing. It's the only sustain I have in my whole build. Oh, I missed. Look at that, look, look, look. I three a wave. I, I, I froze a wave and healed for 600. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? What the fuck? Ooh. 
Boom. Oh my God. This is dumb. All right. I took, I took some, uh, I took some, some damage. I got all my items. <laughs> hey, look at my health. Look at my health. Yeah, I have, I have 1400. Boom. 2000. One ability. So dumb. He just full comboed me and while hitting my abilities I'm 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 even. I'm I didn't actually lose any HP during that engagement. 2.5k, boom. 3100. This isn't okay. It, like I know I'm kind of dragging this game out a little bit. But it just, it's blowing my mind how much. Why am I? What's the extra 19 tick healing? Extra 20 tick healing? Is that my Gaia? All right. We win the game, dude. I... I don't take damage. I'm actually fucking invincible. I'm actually invincible. Oop. I... I don't know what to tell you. I didn't think it'd be that strong. I thought it would be strong. I did not think it would be that strong. I I was literally invincible. Like you couldn't kill me. No matter what you did, you couldn't kill me. I healed so much. But I was doing a good amount of damage too. It wasn't like it wasn't like damn, I'm sacrificing damage for this. I was pumping numbies. What's my... Hold on. Can you see stats, right? What's my power at? I had almost capped out physical protection. I had 4,000 HP. And I still had 324 magical power. 325, technically. That's, a, that's, that's crazy. I don't know. That might be a build we we use in the future. Check out some different gods with that with that kind of build. That was insane. Maybe maybe like Hebo with this build. Obviously, I wouldn't have 4k HP because I'm not a guardian and my HP doesn't scale like that. But like Hebo, where you can spam your ability to get 12% HP like over and over and over and over and over and over and over. If you're hitting a wave, like oh my god, <laughs> that's crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me if you think Blood Soak Shroud is a little too overpowered. I think it is. I think this should only target or target. It should only uh, proc once per ability, not once per target per ability. Because that leaves up so much. <laughs> so much like minion waves, buff camps. You get it three times. Maybe even six times if you use two abilities. Like, oh man. Her ability, I think, is is okay. Her target, I think, is a little too busted. Maybe they need to change that. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you didn't, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys. Hey!